Let's get a little personal then. Don't you ever do that when you hear records from from people and you think like, nah. Nope. I used to do that. Oh. I, when I was immature, <laughs> at my faith, I used to do that. All right. I used to be like, well, this doesn't make sense. Why? Well, this is nothing to do with Jesus. This has nothing to do with Jesus. Right. And then, as I as I started growing up and I started realizing, man, right now, you know, I'm going through a hard time. My girlfriend broke up with me. Yeah. Right. I don't have any music to speak to my emotion of being dumped or of a broken heart because the only thing that I can go to yeah. is, 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 is uh, all this you know, Christian type music that, that doesn't deal with directly a relational stance. Like anytime we write music about love, yeah. it has to be somehow metaphoric about Jesus. But, but, but uh, wait, wait, I have to disagree with that because the last years, there's come out some stuff that talks about that, that's more real, that's more right. relevant. Right, but I'm talking about back in the day. Oh, yeah, all right. That's what I'm right. saying, like, back in the day, I didn't have nothing to go to, oh. you know, like, I didn't have any any groups that I can be like, okay, because all the groups were speaking about one thing, and it's Jesus, 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 which, which I know I need Jesus, yeah. but right now, I'm feeling insecure. Um, she don't like. I feel like she don't like me because I don't dress cool, or maybe it was my hair. You know, all these things Your that we hair. think about. That we're, we're very human, so we think about these things. Yeah. I want songs that find me at that level. Is it immature? Yes. Yeah. Is it wrong? Like in the sense, like, is my mind in the right place? No, it's not in the right place. Eventually, you know, I'll I'll wake up and be like, you know what? It just didn't work because it didn't work. God has better plans for me. But for that moment, when I'm in that spot. Yeah. Of just feeling like whatever, I need something to get me through that moment. Mm -hmm. So for that reason alone, you know, I'll go to John Mayer. I'll go to Rascal Flatts. I'll go to, you know, these different R&B tunes that are just songs about bad relationships. Relationships yeah. that work, relationships that didn't work. Mm -hmm. And I identify with them. Yeah. So in my yeah. heart, I'm like, I get it now. I need, we need music for every part of our life. As Christians, mm -hmm. we need to make music from a Christian perspective mm -hmm. about every single part of your life, about waking up in the morning and needing something to up tempo to get your day going, about your wife divorced you. So how do you get through that? Because you're extremely upset, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so I need you to talk exactly to that about I'm struggling with sex. So I need a song that specifically deals with sex. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, and so on and so forth. Like, we need to make music mm -hmm. for every part of our life mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. a Christian perspective so that you can trust what's being said. Mm -hmm. But people are scared to write a song about sex. They're, they're scared to write a song about a lot of things because yeah. we're afraid that we're going to get judged. Yeah. And I'm yeah. just not, I'm not down yeah. for that anymore. So, so that's one of the reasons you wrote the track Beautiful and Live It Up. They're, they're yeah. Beautiful is about self-image, I think. Yep. yep. And just encouraging <laughs> girls with their self-image that... Mm -hmm. Beautiful, something like yep. that. Yeah. I, so many girls who, who deal with um, image problems that I just want to write a song that you didn't have to be a Christian to to appreciate. Yeah. I'm saying like it sh it sh we should never write music that's just for just. For, I mean, there's 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 people who are called to the church. Yeah. But if you're not, if you're called to the church and more, yeah. you need to write music for everybody to understand. You know, everybody to to get. Because it's important. Like just because you don't love Jesus doesn't mean that Jesus don't love you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't serve him doesn't mean that he doesn't want you to serve him. Yeah. If that's the case, if he loves you, the sinner, as much as he loves me, the saved, yeah. then I can treat you like I would treat any other Christian. Yeah. yeah. And it's you know it's important for me to give you something that'll uplift your heart, even if you ain't serving my God. Yeah. Even if you yeah. come to me and say, "Yo, that effing sh was the effing bomb," <laughs> don't, like. You know what? Thank you. I appreciate you. That means as much to me from a lost person than yeah. a holy person saying, you know, that music was anointed. It really blesses me. Yeah. Both of them are equal to me. They mean yeah. the same thing, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. because they're coming from where the person is at. Yeah. And they're appreciating the music that I made for them. So, um... I talked about beautiful and what about live it up? We're playing the video this season in our show. Can you tell me something about the video shoot and the message of the song? Well, we got to direct that video ourselves. That was just us and our friend um, John Ward. Um, I wrote the I wrote this, the the storyboard out. You know, I I went to school for that, so. 
I know how to do that stuff. So oh. I, I, I storyboarded it, and me and I edited it with John. Um, we sat down and we did the whole thing ourselves, like without um, the group one and, and, and us. And it was just a fun time, man, because we did three videos in three days. You know, we did uh, Live It Up, Manipulation, and Out of Space Love. Where, where, and, when were you guys, guys um, um, release uh, Manipulation? And out of space um, because we haven't got those ones here. Yeah, it's it's really up to the label on where they want it because we initially made those videos for live shows, hmm. like the live it up and the out of I mean for out of space and manipulation they were just for live shows, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's it's up in the air on whether we want to release it for we actual want that one music video. I mean it, they're fun videos. But we're trying to figure out, you know, if, if we release it there, then it's not new for people who come to the show. Oh. It's 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 just it was supposed to be a show thing. But oh. Live It Up was a fun experience, man. We we just did it with us and, and John, and it was just it was just fun to be in control of everything. And, and we had a we shot it at my Bible college. Um, we we got a lot of people from there to help out, and all the extras was from there, and. Um, We did it at my manager's house as well, so it was it was just really just us making it happen on like zero budget, you know. Um, I mean, it cost something to make, but it wasn't like a high, high like budgeted thing. And we came up with something that we were really happy with. It's just a fun video. It makes you feel just good, you know. Our dancers appeared in it, which was awesome. Um, it was just a good time. Like that's all it was. It was just a blast making it. All right, we talked about gospel music and secular music. What do you think about the quality of gospel music right now? Um, there are definitely some artists. I think on the rock side, on the it's a different story because you know there's more money put into rock albums because more people accept rock, rock, and rock, rock as Christian music. More that's what people think. Of. They, a lot of people still don't even think or know that Christian urban music exists. Mm -hmm. We're um, fixing so, that. We're fixing yeah. that over here. We're, we're, yeah. That, <laughs> so I, I think I think that's the biggest problem because I feel like in gospel urban music, mm -hmm. there's not enough money for it. Nobody puts money into it because there's not any platform for it. There's no big radio stations for it. There's there's just no outlet, you know. So you got a lot of Christian rappers or, or, or rappers that are Christian. Excuse me. Um, they don't it's hard for them to invest a lot of money into something that there's no outlet. Like I talked to so many of them and it's like, dude, I don't even know what to do. This has to be like a ground grassroots thing. This ain't, it ain't gonna get on radio unless it's some internet radio and not enough people listen to it, you know? So it's like, it's really, it's really difficult to get quality stuff when you're not having a label putting $60,000, $70,000 into your record, you know? So it's, it's far and few between of quality urban gospel music. It's but, just, but, but who are your favorite artists right now? Now, in, in urban? Who's in, in your iPod? In urban music period? No, or no, urban like in gospel. The we'll talk about, about urban secular later on. But urban gospel, who's in your iPod? Mm. Is anyone in your iPod? <laughs> no. No, no one, no one. Um, I have, I have people that I appreciate yeah. and that I love. I love what they're doing. I love, yeah. I love Lecrae. I love. Um, wait, no, I do have Lecrae's new record. I have Lecrae's new record. Mm -hmm. um, his newest one, um, um, Rehab. Yeah. Um, I'm really good friends with KJ. I love what KJ does. KJ52 has a really s sweet heart, man. I, I love that guy. Mm -hmm. um, Bingo. I'm really big on Bingo. Oh, is, 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 is he doing something new? He's of, of the um, um, Cannoli Brothers. Yeah. yeah, he just came out with a new record. Oh. Um, it's great. I was just listening to it before you even what called. What is it like, called? What is it called? I haven't figured out what it, it's called yet because he gave me, before, I don't even know if he's pressed it up and gotten the whole right. imaging done. All Since right. he's my boy, he sent it to me before it even came out. Please ask him for, for our radio stuff because we love the new, new urban stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really good. Where are you guys located at? We're in the Netherlands. Oh, I love you guys. We're, I, we're... I interviewed you a few years ago at EO Youth Day. We spoke yeah, in a small room. I love the Netherlands so much. I will, 
I will get permission from him. All right, ask him, um, please. To, do, to send you the record. Please, please yeah. do that. So, um... He's the only one, he's the one that's on repeat. Like he, <laughs> he's the only one that's on repeat. That right. Because when you hear this record, you'll see why. All right. Because Bingo is someone who speaks straight up real. All like, right. he's just real. Yeah. So a lot of his songs, he's been through a hard year losing his son a couple years um, back, and and you know his marriage and stuff. Is, he's his marriage is oh is is a big priority to him. So he's mm -hmm. been you know he speaks a lot about his marriage in this record, and mm -hmm. and um, it's just so real. It's so real mm -hmm. that I I I can appreciate that. You know, so I I have Bingo on straight repeat every morning. I wake up and I, I play it. Hook me up. Hook me up. So so, so we we talked about gospel urban. Well, um, let's talk about secular, secular artists. Who are your favorite ones? Who's in your iPod? Um, to be honest, the least amount of music I listen to is urban. Um, uh -huh. I, I listen more to, um, um, like I said, um, John Mayer, um, music, music Soul Child, Rascal Flatts, Michael Bublé. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but music is urban. Music Soul Child is a bit urban. Yes, yes, he is urban. Um, I, as far as rappers that I appreciate or urban artists, I appreciate them, and, and this is my words, I appreciate them mainly for the talent that God gave them and their ability to craft great music. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I wouldn't like fully support all of their messages. I, mm -hmm. I support the talent that God gave them, mm -hmm. and I learn from, from what they do. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be your Eminem, uh, Ludacris, T.I., mm -hmm. uh, I can really appreciate Lil, um, Lil Wayne. Sometimes he's hit or miss, but mm -hmm. he, like lyrically, that dude can be a genius. Same thing with Drake. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Rihanna, for some reason, either she has the best team of writers in the world mm -hmm. um, because she just keeps, I mean, crafting out just some, some amazing melodies, just great ideas. She's like the yeah. queen of the hook, you know, yeah. and she just has these hooks yeah. that aren't even words. And she, she, uh, you know, the eh, eh, or the <laughs> ooh, na, na, was, you know, I'm like, yeah. like, no, bro, I was like, who comes up with these? So, um, <laughs> she's amazing, uh, Beyonce, I think, is just freaking amazing, mm -hmm. there's artists that I, I look up to, Kanye is always revolutionary, he always mm -hmm. comes out, he does something, mm -hmm. these are artists that I, I appreciate their, their, um, their cra cra craft, their, their, their skills, craft, ingenuity, their creativity, because all that's God-given. You know, they're not using it for God right now, but you, like, you can respect something that's good. You yeah. know, even Paul, even Paul used um, secular poetry to speak to the, to the poets, you know, like, he, even he could appreciate what, um, what the secular world brought to the table yeah. as far as creativity. Yeah. So I, I can do the same. Now, would I drown myself in a lot of their music, a lot of the negative things? I, I probably I wouldn't do that, you know. Like I listen to songs to study them. Yeah. What makes this song a hit? You know, because to me it's just music. Music is music. They talk about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. We talk about God. You know, I don't believe in the word. It's not like Christian music. It's music that speaks about God. There's no such thing as Christian music. You know, like it's just music. That talks about Christianity or Jesus, just like they do music that talks about money or girls. Mm -hmm. you know, Christian is not really a genre. Christian is a faith. 